Hello everybody, Jet here, and a welcome back to my Parisia playthrough here in Imperator Rome 2.0, where, well, things are not actually going too well just now. It's, um, we're having our butt kicked a little bit, though my income is fine. What I probably want to do is actually burn off some of my mercs who've got very few troops left, like these guys, and hire some mercenaries who actually have people left. Uh, let's have a look through my mercenaries. Hey man, how you doing there? Elder Von... I'm not even going to try and say your whole name because it's huge! Uh, da -da 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 -da. So there's hardly any of these guys left as well. So let's get rid of those mercenaries. And hire new mercenary stacks, which have lots of shiny men in them. Let's see. There's going to be some other really big stack around somewhere. Without going too far. There we go. So, can I get a third? Because you can only have a certain amount of uh, mercenary stacks at the same time. Hey, Bander. Bander Maiko. How you doing, man? So, yeah, we, we've just hired some new mercs. And I basically need to finish this war up now. We've got some expansion in it. At this point, what I want to do is try and get it to the point where we're not actually losing. No, I can't hire any more now. That's the most mercs I can get. I'm going to pull these guys down here to support. I can easily scour them. That's good. Hey, day sleeper. <laughs> oh, God. I'm... I'm bad with names at the best of times. I'm I'm very dyslexic for those who don't know. Um, ooh. Is the stream running okay? Because apparently I'm getting some drop frames. Just let me know if there are do seem to be any issues. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm dyslexic, so I have problems at the best of times, let alone... Um, let alone when I'm saying something complicated and not English. Hang on, I'm just killing a couple of background programs because I seem to be getting some uh, issues, so I'm just checking nothing's downloading in the background. Hmm. Now, I'm glad you're enjoying this series as well. It's been a, it's been a different series, that's for sure. Uh... Okay, somebody's an irritation. Good to know. Let's smash in here. No, I want... I need to... Um... No, I'm going to take here out. Push through these guys. Uh... <clears throat> push through these guys. Start pulling more people out of the war. It, it, I'm just going to have to accept we're, we're going to be... This war is going to be painful. Um, but my allies are finally getting involved. Huzzah! Oh, I'm having a rebellion somewhere as well, aren't I? Hang on, I forgot about that. Right, let's send this single stack back up to deal with that. Because I think I've got enough people here. Ah, uh, bugger. <laughs> this is the problem of having such fast expansion and not many troops. And, I mean, my stability is okay, but the high um, war exhaustion is uh, rebellions, which are not good. These are mercs, so I don't care if they wipe, get themselves wiped out. That's fine. Uh, I don't care about pretender support. I can't deal with that. They're all fine for the time being. Can't do much about that. And we have imminent white peace in this war, which is fine.
If I'm honest, if I could white piece out right now, I probably would. Um, <laughs> it's probably better than my anything else. My, as an English person, I'm definitely not allowed to comment about languages, and I'm I'm really bad at languages anyway. No. Yeah, we're doing okay actually. Hold games, I need to push my pub my popularity up. Right, I need to kick through here. Let's try and siege it down fast. The upcoming games. Bring on the challenge. There we go. That's that one done. Oh, they've got two places. Bugger it. That's a problem. Right. What am I lacking? I'm lacking iron. Let's get iron from the Romans. Yes, I need all the stability I can get at the moment. We're going to siege here down, bring these guys back in, then we're going to go wipe them out quickly. Oh, why has that popped up there? Ah, god damn disloyal people. Let's try and kick through the walls there quickly with my mercs. Eh, uh, not gonna do it. Ooh. They should be up to task, doesn't matter, they both have uh, jobs, so it's not the end of the world. Hmm. Manpower recovery speed at the moment, actually because I'm not going to make a dent in that. I say that. Stab a pig. No, I'm not going to make a dent in that. I've, I've kind of got one army doing that. I don't want to pull too much here because they actually have quite a lot. Um, there you go. Pull those mercs out to hit here and wipe them out. Here's pretty much done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. Um, you know, I, I can send people out to deal with these rebellions. It's just getting them there in time while I'm fighting down here. <clears throat> Come on. Try and kick through there. The thing is, they don't really have enough to do much now, so. I, I shouldn't be doing it like this, but I'm just trying to burn through as much as I can, as quickly as I can here. So these two sieges are effectively done. It's just problematic having to send troops their way. There you go. You could be eaten. It's basically this this war is just both sides are so crippled from it now. There's going to fall shortly. Let's give it a go. That's that rebellion done, so you can start heading back down here. I know you can go and take them down.
Put them to the sword. No, we're going to pull these guys down into here. God damn, this place is still holding. Finally, got to take that and then we can finish this up easily. There we have a new invention. What were we actually doing? I think I actually want some military. See, I was pushing down here. I'm going to push down here a little bit more. Um, simply because I want the approval. Uh, the loyalty bonuses are really, really nicely. It, it, to be fair, this isn't really two fronts. I mean, the other rebellions kind of just popped up behind us. They're not too difficult to deal with. The real issue here is that I, I went to war with a horrifically big coalition. I brought a load of allies in, which helped us to start with. To start with, it went very well. But I was silly. I... I, I I was too aggressive, effectively. I should have let them come at me a bit more. Excuse me one sec. Are you noticing any issues on my stream at all? Because it's telling me I'm dropping a hell of a lot of frames, which is uh, worrying me a little bit. Um, so let me know if you see it, noticing any issues anyway. I need to just put, drive them off. Oh, goddamn disloyal people. No, he is loyal. He just wasn't stood there. Cool. Cheers, man. I don't know why it's coming up. It's giving me lots of issues with uh, frames being dropped. So you might not notice it if it happens over short periods of time, but... Nice, let's try and catch them. That's my rebellions dealt with. Oh god. Nope, nope, nope. Ah, oh, that's not even vaguely going to make them loyal enough. I'm just noping out of here a little bit because they're getting quite big forces in. Um, while well, we get my uh, reinforcements on their way. Hey, MW. Nice. Which tribe did you start with again, MW? <clears throat> Stability, please. Let's drop them and hire them. Ah. Huh. Why no let me hire? There we go, they'll do. Ah, Norica. Yes, yes, you did mention it, because they're quite interesting. Um, I'm not sure who I'm playing as next. I've decided I'm going to finish this one up. I'm going to change how I'm doing my streams a little bit. I'm going to kind of do more in one big solid go, if you see what I mean. So I'm doing maybe a couple of things throughout the week. Ugh. I need to end this war because, yeah, 
it's getting messy. I need to increase the wages to start lowering the um, negatives we're getting. This is why I've been after all this loyalty, because loyalty, these loyalty buffs, it's only plus five, but it's still really nicer. Nice! And Norikim is taking over the world slowly, is it? People are like, uh, we'll send her a tiger. Oh, this is an interesting position to push through. God damn, stop dying, people. Yeah, I can afford the political influence there. Hmm. A few more bribes shouldn't hurt. Oh god, I'm I'm not really an achievement person. So, I mean, this time I'm doing the, uh, the those Romans are crazy. But I'm not a huge achievement per person. I will go for them when they're there. But I'm not going to go... I, how can I phrase it? I don't really go out of my way. Um, no, he's fine. That's a way of taking somebody out of the war. Make them my tributary. <clears throat> Tributaries are quite good at basically eventually being brought into the fold, which works quite nicely. So, yeah. My navy has left range. That's annoying. I know this is foolish, but I want to get through here. I want to end this war, but they're not going to accept it. I'm going to try and take these guys out next. Um, then these guys, which is actual territory I want. And we shall see what we shall see. I'm mostly made up of mercs now, so I honestly don't mind if I kill them on the walls of enemy settlements. But goddamn, this war has been nasty. Yeah, no, I, I, I get that. I, and I, I think Paradox is better with achievements than a lot of games, because a lot of games, they're just kind of random things but no this time it's those romans are crazy uh, which is to form gaul is what i'm going for um apparently according to lambert on my um my um mayor nostrum one if i want to i could get the helvetica one uh, the, sorry the new times roman because apparently it, it's possible for me to colonize to the places but i am not sure i can be bothered with the micro of doing that Oh, God. I'm staving off a civil war as well here with bribes, which is such a bad way of doing it. And I've probably crippled my population through this war as well. Ah! Talking of that, is there anybody I can build a colony on? No, not yet. <clears throat> Alright, let's go siege there down.
Whew. Now this, this has been brutal, guys. Nice, there we go, so... Ah, loyalty of characters, but also gives us a load more nobles. Do I have any laws? Uh, I really want to change off that one. No, nothing major I can do yet, anyway. Lever, please, for the light infantry buff. <clears throat> God, this war has just gone on and on and on and on. It is impressive. Of course you should join the Queen. Uh. So look at my mercs. Yeah, you are going to get fired because there's not enough of you and I'm going to hire someone else up here. Who's going to head this way to scare them off? This, These guys are nearly out anyway. Okay, let's make them a tribute tree. Which actually deals with most of that. Now I need to actually take here for the... Yeah, I need here. I might just try and take both those places and see if I can just, just get them to peace out with that. And then just snipe here, just literally slam down the coast into just here. And get there, leave the rest of the time being. Because um, this war's been painful. Ah, I won't let me win yet. That's what I'm doing. I'm kind of breaking, Albert. I'm breaking through the little countries. I mean, originally this sort of little cluster of al allies was like this. Well, no, more like this. And I've slowly broken through them. But good God, it's been painful. And it has crippled me as a country. Uh, my armies are... I'm basically running on mercenaries at the moment. Um, I've had to put down multiple rebellions at home at the same time as dealing with this. Oh, let's go chase them down. And there's still definite threats. I'm not actually comfortable with that because that's probably actually a better force than mine. Right, Smegit, let's get you down here to support, please. And then once we're here, we can make the final push into here, which is the actual war goal, and try and finish the war once and for all. Oh, thank God. That 
basically wins me this little bit of territory. <laughs> um, this one's not too bad, if I'm honest. A lot of the Paradox games can get very, very complex. This one's not too bad. Um... Ooh, and straight into here. And the nice thing about here is it's actually uh, my culture somehow, for some reason. Which really does help us as well. Right, straight into there. Ooh, I've lost a governor. And I need somebody from a family because I've got a scorned family. You're okay. <clears throat> I need to change this law. It gives me bigger armies, but it's just not worth it. The unintegrated culture happiness is just not worth it. Oh god, that was a bad idea. Hopefully that will stop some of the rebel- at least slow the rebellions. Alright, I'm going to try and siege here down. This is a very risky move at this point. Which worked. Rejoice in the extra stability. Straight down into their capital. Put them to the sword. This is going well. We're nearly there, guys. We're nearly there with this war. I want to... No, I really don't want to give her free hands. That'll start giving her much more corruption, which is bad. Smeg it. Let's try it. This is risky. We didn't break through, but we've still got enough people there. Just going to speed five for just a minute. Now, my ally... Again, this is why I got a load of allies down here. Because while there's all sorts of fighting going on down here, it kind of protects me. This war has actually gone on for so long, but my aggressive expansion has reduced massively throughout it. There we go. We're about to end, finally bring this war to an end. Oh, I should be able to, because this is the war goal, and now I control it. It should start bringing it to a natural end. It should all start ticking my way. It's going to make me attack more. Right, they will wipe peace out. It's just these guys. Basically, I'm pulling all of their allies out of the war. Just to be fair, there's only one other. They're all so weary of war, they're happy to abandon them, and now this is over. Whew! The war is over!
Get rid of my mercs. Can't disband hers. I can give her a quick bribe so I can disband. Whoa. <laughs> that. That was a brutal war. But I broke for code. These little defensive coalitions are amazing in how powerful they can get. Yep, definitely. Ha <laughs> yes. Um, which is great. But at the same time, wow. He's too corrupt, he needs replacing. It needs to be from his family, so I need a blue. With lower corruption, or no corruption, there we go. Even if they're worse, that no corruption is better, because corruption is really bad for things. He's not too corrupt, actually. I mean, this is painful. What do I need now? I need here. Just that one bit of territory. Oh, it's not too bad an alliance, to be fair. Hey, Zeus, not bad, man, you. Uh, been fighting a fun little grotty war. Finished off the grotty war down here this time. Um, I think we're going to be forming Gaul today. Um, probably going to be streaming tomorrow, by the way, with some of the um, Crusader Kings 3 uh, Lord of the Rings mod. Realms in Exile mod, because it's awesome. I'm um, going to do something a bit different. I'm going to play as Denifor tomorrow uh, on stream. I'm going to be continuing my normal playthrough as well, but yeah. So I need to build up a bit, then I need to take out those guys, which shouldn't be too difficult. I'm literally just going to snipe them, then force peace as quickly as I can. Oh, that's good, man. <clears throat> Senlia. And then, yeah, we're obviously going to uh, form Gaul soon, which will be nice. And hopefully give us a few buffs. And uh... Oh, Rome is a kingdom. I have never seen... Oh, and it's Scipio. 